Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Bug Fables the Everlasting Sapling. Last time we finished Chapter 2, we collected the Chapter 2 thing, the uh, ancient tablet, and then we did a couple of side quests and things around the Ant Kingdom, and we're about to start Chapter 3. Uh, as you can see, our stats are kind of low, so we're probably going to heal at some point in this episode as well as starting Chapter 3, but we'll see how we go. Also, I have a face cam now. Hello! Uh, this corner should be okay. I'm covering up the number of crystal berries we have right now. It's a nine. There's a nine underneath my face. Uh, but that's not really an important number for normal gameplay, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, if I do need to show something in this corner, I'll move my face around, but for the most part, this part of the screen is probably the best spot just to leave my face the whole game. Everywhere else is a little more busy. Uh, so yeah, this should be fine. Let's go. <laughs> So yeah, um, we have the ancient tablet, we're gonna go talk to the Queen now. It's been a really long time since I last played the game, so I can't quite remember everybody's names, but we're gonna talk to the Queen. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. Uh, wrong button. I need to demonstrate something, but I pressed the wrong button. No? I think it's the Y button, there we go. Yeah, um, our berry count is also under my face right now. Uh, but you can see we have 78 berries if I do that, so that shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, so yeah, let's go talk to the queen. Oh, you've all come. I must say, you're just in time. Really crowded. Questions will have to wait. Those questions will have to wait. Tell us without further ado, Team Snake Mouth. Have you found the artifact hidden in the Golden Hills? I may have forgotten what voices I was using for these characters. Hopefully I'm getting it pretty much right. <laughs> yup, already for that reward. <laughs> Wonderful, this timing is simply impeccable. I must congratulate you for bringing this artifact to my care. It must be a sign of even more good things to come. For the Ant Kingdom and Bulgaria. It was our honor, Your Highness. Variant, please collect the artifact and hand them their reward. As you command, my queen. You have earned this, Team Snake Mouth. You got a crystal berry. That's ten. You got thirty berries. We have 108 now. It's under my face. <laughs> Thanks again. The V bank keeps filling. <laughs> By the way, those yellow berries, those were added in version 1.1. I think this, this scene just showed you getting a red berry before, but it still counts as 30, which is kind of odd. Oh, m may I take a look, as we discussed? Yes, make haste, Zariant. Handle it with care, Professor. Uh, of course. Yes. Yes, my research held true. This tablet must contain information on how to find the everlasting sapling. What? But that's just a bunch of blue lines. Oh, V, that's where the mask you found in Snake Mouth comes in. It, it really was a mask? I thought it was just a weird rock. <laughs> so I was right. Don't boast, Kabu. Listen now, the mask is an interpreter. Through it, these lines morph into the roach alphabet. Who cares? I cannot tell how it actually works, but the roaches had such marvellous technology. I'm smitten. Wonderful. Very, very wonderful. We are making progress in finding the sapling. Finally. What do you need the everlasting sapling for? I'm not sure whose voice that is, I can't see who's talking. That is not for you to know. Just know that with it my mother's dream will come true at last. My aunt's dream? Professor, how long will it take you to decipher this tablet? Oh, um, it will be some time. Even with the mask, the runes are still in Roach script. Sorry. I see. Fret not, that leaves us with time to put a bit of... Fret not, that leaves us with the there. Fret not, that leaves us with time to retrieve the other artifact. 
Uh. There's another one? Hmm. My research indicates there are three artifacts. With the missing key, we can unlock the everlasting sapling. Then, we're almost at the finish line. Yes! And given what we know, the king key should be in the bee kingdom. R really? Long ago, before knowing of its real nature, they used it when building the honey factory's core. I'm not sure if they'll give it to us, because taking it out will shut down the whole thing. It'll shut down the factory? But, but Do not worry, both of you. We have sent our envoys to the Bee Kingdom ever since you told us about the key. Finally, they have agreed to let us take it in exchange for materials to build a replacement. That is wonderful. Oh, joy! Then it won't cause them any trouble. So the job's trading these materials for the artifact? Precisely. That is your next mission. And luckily, a young bee joined your rank recently. You'll be of great help with this mission. Bee. Oh, right. Jeez, Team Snake Mask is on a roll, aren't they? It's all fair game, Celia. We have our own tasks to excel at. With that, you are all dismissed. Except Team Snake Mouth and Team Celia, I wish to have a word with you. Well, I guess we'll be going now. Marky was here. Now, I've kept you here to ask about the Wasp situation. Professor has mentioned you all helped him when he was attacked. For that, you have my gratitude. We are unworthy, your highness. Then they did what any explorer ought to. So cool. <laughs> It was worrying, though. They seem to know about the artifacts somehow. And it is as I feared. You're running out of time. You must still remain on guard and avoid the northern border with the Wasp Kingdom at all costs. As you wish, Your Highness. To reach the Bee Kingdom, you must travel southeast from the Association. Take the first north exit. With my permission, explorers may now cross the passage to Lost Sand. Be wary, however. The number of bandits in the Lost Sands has been increasing lately. Head straight to Defiant Route as soon as possible, into the Beehive. We will get it done, Your Highness. Uh-huh. Dismissed. Chapter 3. Factory Inspection. That being said, we do have some things to take care of first. If you have time, perhaps you could check out the quest board in the plaza. I don't have to clear the mission too quickly, so we may catch up. No promises. Okay, I think this might have been uncovered. Uh, now that we're hearing about the Bee Kingdom, let me just check my discoveries. No, we already had this one. Okay. Cool. Alright, uh, okay, so we know what our mission is now. Uh, before we get there, we do actually want to check out some of the quests. Oh, cutscene. Huh. I've never been to the hive. This is a good opportunity. Uh-huh. V, are you okay? I, I know you're not on the best terms, but... Look, I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? Ah. Uh. Well, if you don't want to talk about it, there's something we want to discuss. What's up? Venus mentioned that our... Our team got away from Snake Mouth's death. Given the passage of time, they're most likely gone, but we can't help but think. Maybe their children are around? Do you follow? Oh! Oh, that's right! Your team can be around in spirit! Lee, you'd like to go look for them? We're in the middle of a mission, so there's no rush, but if we ever find the time... No problem! Just find them as we go along! Indeed. Keep our eyes open. Thank you. That's all. Let's get on with the mission. Uh, right. Yeah. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh, book updated. There are some new quests available for you. Uh -huh. Otter helps with the notice board. 
You make sure to keep the board in pristine shape and to alert others of new posts. I hear sometimes he helps out people himself. Seems like an outstanding citizen. He could learn a thing or two. I'm as outstanding as it gets. Have a quick look. Oh yeah, I already took a bunch of them. We will be doing all of these eventually, it just might take a while. Uh, I'm gonna take all the open quests, thank you. We haven't done this one yet, this would be a great place to start. Ah, the Inn Founders. Indeed, we owe these cozy beds to them. They'll be happy to know that every new owner took care of the Inn with equal passion. They... what do you think that is? How? They could work just as hard for something they didn't create. If you ask me, I think it's not about being the founders. They probably shared the same ideals, that's all. You two are getting all sappy. Sounds like nap time. Ooh, maybe I am a bit tired. Shall we call it a night? So that was a discovery we just got, that's why the logbook updated. We also want to actually use the inn. Ah, that is the innkeeper. Seventh owner of this inn. The place has seen better days. Our support would do some good. Oh, customers. Welcome. Hiya, we've come to write a review. So this is one of the quests we took. We said we promised we would write a review of the inn. Oh, by the queen. Really? So glad you've come. Be glad after the review. Our standard fare is three berries a night. So for you three, that would be nine berries, with a three honey drop on the house. But since you're writing a review for the inn, you can stay here for free tonight. For free? I won't complain, but... Trying to bribe us already, huh? Uh, oh, um... Worry not, innkeeper. We'll accept your generous offer. Please make sure we have the same experience as all of your guests. And we will keep the price of stay in mind for our review. Phew. All right then, your room is upstairs. Hope you'll have a lovely night. We hope so too. Please come talk to me when you wake up so we can get your review. <laughs> that heals us to full, as you can see. We also get a free honey drop. <laughs> Uh, no, I wasn't sure if there was a special paddle message for being in the inn, but there's not. Uh, just to clarify, the quest we're doing right now is... This one. Uh... So yeah, we're finishing that off now. Hello. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I slept pretty well. The honey drop you left was great. We haven't had a bed so cozy in years. Or any bed, really. It was good. It... It was great, yes. N my bed hurt my back. Alright, Surface has still got it. I needed a confidence boost. You're great, I can't wait to come again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> come back anytime. Y yes, of course. So basically, the quest was the reward for the quest is getting a honey drop and free stay at the inn. Um, we don't have to worry too much about paying for the inn before long. Uh, but I'll I'll leave that as a mystery for now. <laughs> I'll just say. I'm just checking what our stats were like, it's been a while. Uh, fine. I believe because we defeated Vigu, there should be another badge we can get. Uh, for defeating a boss battle in hard mode. So let's head up there and have a quick look. Uh, and then we're just going to head on towards Lost Sands. Hey, you're back! Let's see how you've been doing with that medal of mine. Hmm, good job, folks. You defeated that hardened Venus's guardian. Was it too challenging for you? You deserve a reward. Here, take this. You got a spiky bod medal. When blocking, Kabu will damage enemies that touch him with his horn. Oh, you've been on a roll. Beat Zasp too, eh? Here, take this as well. You got a break medal. Grant Leaf the break skill, which reduces an enemy's defense for two turns. Come back later when you've bonked some extra hard heads with that medal, will ya? Okay. These are good. Uh, we don't really have room for them right now. 
Wacky Bard is kind of expensive, uh, and it's a good effect. Like, yeah, it does damage, you know, when enemies swoop into you and you block them, that's good. But it is quite expensive. Uh, we probably can't afford it right now. Uh, but we'll hang on to it. I mean, we can't not hang on to it. You're not allowed to not to take, to just throw away badges. You gotta keep them. Uh, but yeah, we've got that in our inventory now. Uh, we're just gonna head towards the Lost Sands, which is this direction. North, Ant Kingdom, East, Lost Sands, Metal Lake. I think this is a new enemy, so let me just, uh... Oop. Well, I think it is a new enemy, but it was too weak and I defeated it. <laughs> um, hmm. I might just take off the bug me not metal just so I can check. Hello! Oh! Uh, let me see. Okay. Yeah, that's a golden seedling. They're very rare. When you go into a boss battle with some seedlings, there might be a golden one. Right now, there is a golden one. <laughs> ah, messed it up. Oh no. That again. Incredible! This is the golden seedling of legends! It brings fortune, health, and love if one can best it. It has unholy defenses. Not even my piercing horn is getting through. Uh, yeah, the defenses for the golden seedling, it takes up three question marks. What it actually does is it divides the damage you do by ten, and then rounds up. So you only do one point of damage unless you manage to do more than ten damage in a single hit. <laughs> it's absolutely wild. You think of a way to prevent its escape while we whittle it down. Well, I'm gonna try one of these and see if this works. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of damage. <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh my god. That random encounter just defeated us outright. We just got our butt kicked. <laughs> okay. Let's just reload a save. I I think this is after we went to the inn. Yeah, let's go from where we were again. No big. Uh, you can only retry the same fight if it's a boss battle. Like, random encounters don't work that way. It's a little annoying. Yeah, we'll just grab these again. Uh, I'll just skip through the dialogue. But yeah, you can see hard mode is quite hard. There we go, we got the badges. Oh. And this time I'll actually save after doing that. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I mean, the Golden Seedling always does quite a lot of damage and has quite a lot of health, but that's unusually large numbers of each of those things. <laughs> I do want to fight a regular underling if we can, so I'm going to take off my Bug Me Not. Uh, now we can spy on it. These seedlings burrow? Ugh, it's gotta be karma for all those flying seedlings. Help me out, Leaf.
Yeah, even though it's only worth one point to defeat, it still does uh, quite a lot of damage and uses up a lot of our resources to fight. <laughs> Hard mode. Uh, bug me bug, not back on. I just wanted to get Underling Spide on so that we have it in our uh, list of enemies, basically. work? Where's the worker? I hope we cross soon. Those underlings don't play nice at all. I'm gonna keep wandering just to show you what's over here. What's this? Uh, we don't really know how to describe it. It's a steering wheel, Leaf. A what? <laughs> Let's drive boats around in the water. Hmm, even when you explain it, it's hard to imagine how it works. Back then, boats were way simpler. Well, you do have to study- you do have to study a lot to drive a boat. We feel quite outdated. Keep your head high, Leaf. There's so much to discover on this pier. Yay! Learning! Whoa, I've never actually seen the pier up close before. Up close, Fee? Hmm, you can kind of see it from all the way up in the highs. It must be exciting to see those far off lands. I mean, kinda. But after Snake Mouth, I ain't too fond of the water. Say the word and we'll freeze the whole ocean. N now, it's enough to just tread carefully. There's the boat. We can uh, pay to go for a boat ride to metal the Metal Island, but it's very expensive. Like, a couple hundred berries. Uh, and we don't want to do that, at least right now. Oh, instead we just want to cross this bridge here. When we get to it. <laughs> this is one of those things you need the whirly whirly thing we learned in Chapter 2 to spin. There we go. Bingo. Whoa, thanks. Mm-hmm. We were stuck here for a while. It wasn't much. We'll get going now. We see you in Defiant Route. Be careful now. Hey, it's you two at three again. Venus? Yes, that's me. I decided to help you in your quest. R really? You gonna beat up stuff with us? Uh, I'm not a combat goddess, but I can heal you up in no time. You know, for a small offering of eight berries. But... Why would a goddess need money? Listen, Arya and my followers want to thrive in life too, and they are way too dedicated to me to get other jobs. So it's the least I can do for them. Guys, eight berries is nothing for adventurers like you. Sounds like a fair deal, team. It helps us and Venus's followers. Mm-hmm. Just shove the berries in this bud's mouth when you want some healing, alright? So yeah, uh, these Venus buds will show up around the game now, and be basically inns that are smaller. <laughs> but Venus really is all across Bulgaria. Well, she's like a super goddess, right? Indeed. That she would bless us with her healing. I'm beyond grateful. Easy there. The lost Sands. It's been a while. They're way too huge. It's gonna take ages. Nice if we could move just a bit faster. Well, why not just run? We tap B twice with me at the front. I'll give it my all. Blech. Whatever gets us out of there faster. We'll try to keep up, Kabu. Kabu can now dash. Just double tap B. Press A or B to cancel the dash. Kabu can also now use the dash through skill in battle. So, um, in version 1.0 of this game, you learned dashing much later in the game. You learn it in chapter 5, I think. Um, but it, it's necessary to break, like, big rocks and stuff. Here, it's just to let you go faster. As, like, a convenience thing. Uh, 
basically they added that as a quality of life feature because people thought the game was a bit too slow. And yeah, you learn it in chapter 3 here. Ah, the gate opened. I can't go to the desert yet, I'm still preparing for my journey. I plan on crossing the desert, keep in mind it is much bigger than it seems. Everywhere you look, there is sand. Give a mental map where you plan on crossing. When you plan on crossing, sorry. The desert is, uh, we probably need some better supplies before we head in. We're carrying a danger spot, which is not useful, and we've got a honey drop, and we probably need to work on our supplies a little bit. Ah, explorers, the queen has allowed you to go through. Go on in. Please do be careful, the number of bandits roaming the sand has been increasing lately. To reach Defiant Root, keep going northwest to the base of the big tree. Do not approach the Wasp Kingdom board to the northeast. Stay clear from it. So, uh, we're not going to actually go into the desert just now. We're going to head back because I didn't really think far enough ahead and I realise now that we should probably uh, prepare some better food and stuff. Now we can run as well, which is nice. Okay, so the food district is this... Yeah, well, not very well supplied. <laughs> oh no, this is not the food district, this is the other district. We do want to go to the bank here and deposit another hundred berries or so. Uh, but what we're actually here to do is go over to this side and do a little cooking. Hello! Uh, let's see. Cook that honey drop. Blaze honey. Uh, I'm also going to cook the danger spot since I've got it. A baked yam! Cooking this yam got rid of its toxins, toxins making it safely delicious. Restores 7 HP to an ally. Yum 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 yum. Five hits. Uh, don't really need any of those. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna stock up a little bit more. We're coming up in about a half hour, so... We're more or less done for this video, but that's okay. Uh, honey drop and mushroom. A sweet shroom. A mushroom with some honey on top. Yum! Restores 5 HP from ally and 4 TP. Nope, that gave me a mistake. But now I have a mistake, which is is a useful thing to have in this game, oddly enough. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. We we're probably about equipped to go to the desert. We're still a little low on health, but we can probably manage.
Okay, um, and that's more or less a half hour, so yeah, next time we're gonna be entering the Lost Sands. Oh, accidentally walked in. Okay, here's a sneak preview of the Lost Sands. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!